Hi, I'm Chase thompson Ball with SimplyMac.com. We're a Utah-based company with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips about using the iPad, and I know you're going to love them. Now I'm going to show you how you can transfer files between your Mac and your iPad. So there are actually several different ways that you can transfer files from your Mac to your iPad, and you can also do the same methods transferring files from your PC to your iPad or backwards. So what I'm going to show you real quick are a couple of applications that will help you do this. My favorite one is by far Dropbox. Now Dropbox, if you're not familiar with it, basically is an application that you install on your computer, PC or Mac, and then you install it on your iPad. Dropbox will create a folder on your computer and whatever you drop into there is now on your iPad. So you can see I have several folders here and all I have to do is just tap on them and I have instant access to those files. These are the same files that are on my computer as well. So if I have a file on my computer, I just put it into Dropbox and it's on my iPad when I check the Dropbox application. And I can use this, app, or I can use this file anywhere I'd like on the iPad. If I tap this little arrow, I can open this up in compatible applications. I have Evernote for note taking, I have iBooks, I can store this in there and then read it or print it out later, or PDF Expert that I can use to change this PDF and then save it back to Dropbox. So this is a fantastic application to be able to get at your files from your computer. Just make sure they're in Dropbox. Now also there are other ways of doing this through applications like Box.net. Box.net is similar to Dropbox in which you're using kind of a web service, but with Box.net you can upload files and then access them here. It's not a folder that's saved on your computer though. There's also air sharing. Air sharing I like because it is so versatile. Air sharing allows me to access files from several different locations. All I have to do is come here to this servers page, tap the plus, and I have several different things I can access. Air sharing can actually access box.net and Dropbox simultaneously. I can also access the old MobileMe iDisks. I can access CloudMe an FTP server if you happen to have one, my Google Docs, and other ones as well. So this is a fantastic application and I do recommend you get the pro version to have access to all of these different types of servers. Now also, when you plug in your iPad to iTunes, there's going to be an area under where you would normally sync your applications that will allow you to transfer files into specific applications. So if for instance you happen to have Keynote or Pages like I do, you'll be able to see this file transfer area in iTunes that you can just click and drag files into there. But most of the time, I do recommend you use these uh, web services because then the files are always available and they'll be synced across from both your computer and your iPad without having to do much dragging and clicking. Again, I'm Chase Thompson-Ball with SimplyMac.com and I've just showed you how you can transfer files from your Mac to your iPad.